Hello, this is Evan Jacobs. This is another Orange County Hardcore Scene Stir Scene Stop. We are here today at the Doctor Strange Records store. There is a show with Sleep Pod 2, which has members of Game Face and a bunch of other bands from Orange County. And then you also have Calling Hours, which has Popeye from Farside singing, as well as the guys from the band Don't Sleep. And um, Doctor Strange Records, for me, very, very important for many different reasons. Obviously, a fan of the bands they put out, obviously Game Face, obviously Face to Face. You have Bull Weevils, you have uh, Schlep Rock. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think, there's like, there's like a bunch of other bands that were, that were on that label. But that label really is personified by the personality behind it, which is Bill, who, who runs it and now has kind of parlayed the label, which I know he still does. I know he still reissues things. If you go into the Doctor Strange store, which is behind me, he's, he's, he's got like records that he's, I mean, it's filled with like records, but he's uh, got records that have been reissued on the uh, label. And he was very much the personality behind the label just a great guy, a guy very much from the Ian Mackay school of doing business and, and how he dealt with bands. Very instrumental to me as a young guy when I started getting involved and started doing a record label. I later came to him because I made a movie, Walking Between the Raindrops, which had a lot of his bands on it. Game Face and then, you know, Farside being on Revelation, but there was, but there were other Doctor Strange bands on it. Doctor Strange was one of the labels that distributed that, that rec, that movie. And it just being around people like him, people like Jordan Cooper, people like, you know, just seeing Ian Mackay, um, and, and just other people doing their record labels, the way that they did them and being friends with, with these people, wanting to do right by these people wanting to create something and preserve something because he felt that what they were doing was important and he wanted to do everything that he could to express that. That is what has really stuck with me. And it's awesome to be here at Doctor Strange Records, awesome to be here at the show, awesome to see that the ethos and the things that he lived by and the things that really inspired him to do the label are what has propelled him to having the store. He lives across the street from the store. It's just awesome to see. It's inspiring to be here. And this is our scene stop.